Hello, welcome to our lesson of physics practical. Today, we are going to learn a graph of protein. And our main topic, I'm going to teach you how to use a graph paper. A three quarter of our graph paper. That is the best method or best way to use graph paper in order to get if there is any intercept of your graph uh, your intercept will be available in each direction uh, in each position of your graph paper so we are going to learn how to use a graph paper of each width any width of your graph paper we have different nature uh, of our graph paper we have normal that we, we buy on from stationaries and we have a special graph paper let's say for nectar examination graph paper so for each when you are going to meet any graph paper make sure you follow these steps uh, to make sure you you find the three quarter of your your graph paper before plotting or before inserting your your data let's say we are going to use this graph paper as an example uh, this is our graph paper and uh, our graph paper it has centimeter vertically and uh, horizontally so in order to identify the three quarter of our graph paper we have the step the first step uh, is to count the centimeter vertically and uh, horizontally when we count uh, when we count vertical horizontally uh, centimeters you are going to consider to put the y axis of our graph paper and when you consider vertical when you count vertical you are going to to find the position we are going to line the uh, horizontal horizontal line so the first we count the first one we count to put the vertical axis so our our centimeter we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and the sixteen so our our vertical line is sixteen our horizontal line horizontal centimeter is equal to sixteen boxy or 16 centimeter and we come to vertical we count from either down or up side so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and also is vertical is 16 so this is our graph paper is the square the same centimeter vertically and the horizontal that is first step first step the second we know three quarter it means three quarter three over over four three over four that means is 0 0.75 so we want to put the vertical axis in our our graph paper this one so how many position we are going to leave from left side and to leave in right side in order to, to write the item or the title of x axis it means we have a space we are going to leave in this position and we have a position we have to leave in right side so how many centimeters we are going to uh, to leave the first thing we want to put this one to put the vertical axis so we have to consider horizontal centimeter it means you are going to leave from here 
to this position we are going to, to put a uh, vertical axis so it means you are going to, to, to do this one you take this this centimeter 16 times 0 0.75 the value will be as we use calculator and then we are going to, to know how many centimeter it means 16 times 0 0.75 we get 12 we get 12 we get 12 so it means we have 12 and then we have 16 so in order to get the this the space or centimeter to live we take 16 the total minus 12 minus 12 we take 16 minus 12 this is 3 over 4 of our our that centimeter uh, of this one so we get 4 centimeter 4 centimeter so it means when we are going to consider to put a vertical axis we have to leave four centimeter so we are going to to have to our graph paper we count one two three four then we line our our vertical axis but if you want to write there is a space you want to write in this position. Let's say you leave to write the item of, let's say, when you plot a graph y against the x, it means there is a space you have to leave to put the x axis. So it means in that 4 centimeter, you have to leave one, one, one box. It means we are going to count one, two, three. One, two, three. Same. Then you put it in this one. It means the fourth the, is this one. You are going to write the the item for x axis or the value when you are going to write x axis position and the y you are going to leave. So for vertical axis, it means you have to leave four, but minus one for right side in order to write the for the x axis. Almost you leave three in this one, you leave three, and then here you remain one. Total is four. That is how to get the three quarter of that that graph that is vertical axis then we are going to put horizontal axis to put horizontal axis we have to consider the vertical the vertical centimeter vertical centimeter so it means we take 16 because the same 16 times 0 0.0.75 Seven five, almost it will be the same twelve. Twelve. So it means you have to leave the gap. Uh, when you are going to 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 have this one, according to our width of graph, it means when you are going to to line horizontal line, have to leave four centimeter. It means one, two, three, four. Total is four. But remember, we have the position of title and the scale in this side, in this side. So it means total is four. So you have to divide in that four. If you leave two centimeter above and you leave two centimeter down, then you are going to line your, your vertical, your horizontal axis. That means one, two, three, four. So this position will have a title and a scale and we have 
uh, this will, will be used for writing your your number of your scale so that is the way on how to find the quarter it means you count the vertical centimeter and the horizontal for each number you count you times it by 3 over 4 which is the, the same as 0 0.75 you get the total after getting the total you minus for the total of all centimeter that is the total to live in vertical position and the horizontal position but you have to consider the position of the title uh, on 30 centimeter you minus from the total total centimeter after calculating that centimeter just look my my graph i have drawn here it means one two three four one two three it means the fourth the fourth position is this one the first centimeter is this one here i'm going to write uh, the, the something i have been asked me to plot that is one and this one i have leave one two three four it means there is a position of this one of title and the scale and the and the scale so it means our graph will look like this one so we have a position of title scale vertical horizontal so it means this one this and this and this one plus this one that is the the distance calculated to live in downside and the upside and this one one two three and there is one here live from our graph paper it means when you are going to to, to to line your best line when you find the intercept our graph there is no any hanging like this one you see this graph there is no interception for x axis so this is not good for your graph plotting so but when you consider a uh, three quarter of your graph paper or any graph there is the interception of your 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 line of x and the y axis so that is the way on how to use a three quarter of our our graph paper make sure you after getting your graph paper before inserting your data just calculate the three quarter of your graph paper according to the this uh, the width because they are different normal graph and the next examination graph are different our normal graphs are wider than for next examinations graph papers so i think you have understood this lesson for today thank you for learning if you have any question you can communicate in that number you have a nice day thank you for learning